Hey y'all, let's check out Seymour, Halloween and Autumn. Hey y'all, so I have found so many nice lands that I had to put them in order since we are so close to the end of Vlogtober. If you're new here, welcome. I am Shy in Second Life. And on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Quick disclaimer, if you guys hear a large gust of wind, that is my heat coming on. Um, just so you know, just so you know. So y'all, they are really ramping up the, um, is there anything else on this table? I wanted to see these potions. They're really ramping up the Halloween lands. They have lots of hunts. I've never done a hunt before. Um, I don't know. It's just something that I wasn't really interested in. I don't, I don't really know how to do it. That's probably why I'm not interested in it. But, oh, look how pretty that is. The lighting on this land is wonderful. I love all of the pumpkins. Now, I don't know whether or not this place is a store, but I do know that you can buy this house. This is like a little baby castle. I don't know, but you can buy it. So... I went to one place, I'm gonna look at these pumpkins, and they had, it was a hunt going on. When I tell you, it was so many people there. It was so many people there. Everybody was dressed up in their little Halloween costumes. Oh, it's cute in here. And I was really, really loving it. But I'm like, I would like to go and view this place. But at the same time, I don't know how hunts go and so I'm like I don't want to be in people way looking at these places and there were there were so many beautiful places that I found that I want to take you guys that I really had to like sit with myself and be like okay they're not going to be able to see all of this for um vlogtober there were a couple comments that have suggested some places for me that i do want to check out but i have a strong feeling that i'm not gonna be able to get to those places until after vlogtober but that's okay hopefully the places will still be around and i'll be able to show you guys because i definitely want to one of the places i did pop in but um because i'm trying to stick with like halloween content i feel like it wasn't really halloween content so i'm like okay we'll we'll put a pin in this for after vlogtober so i'm really glad that i'll have like a, um, extra places to show you guys like as soon as vlogtober is over when i tell you doing things in advance has really really helped me this vlogtober now there are some some things there are some things we're gonna look at every single thing in every single place but i do want to see everything up in here i'm just gonna give it a thousand um recording in advance has really 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 helped me out um this vlogtober I definitely was apprehensive about whether or not I was going to be able look at this little horse like a little ghost horse. I was apprehensive on um, whether or not I was going to end up having some type of burnout because during Apple Diamonds, I did get to a point where I did have some burnout, but that was because I didn't pre-plan. Pre-planning, um, doing things like Vlogtober and Vlogmas or just like sporadic 30-day um, posting, daily posting, you do have to pre-plan for that. You do have to pre-plan. It makes it so much easier. So it's really nice to be able to have like some time in between where it's like okay well i don't have to post i don't have to record on tuesday because i posted i, I made three videos on monday so i don't have to do it on tuesday i can start making more videos on wednesday or something like that just kind of like always having something in the arsenal and even if you get to a point where you have kind of like fallen behind you can still like plan a day i wonder can you go in here it's giving me a hand let me see you can still like just plan ahead to kind of get back on track even if you do fall behind it's like okay well i fell behind i don't have any videos like that's the point that i'm at right now so it's like okay i don't have any videos um past this video right here so it's like, okay so i'm gonna do three videos that's okay i'll do three then i'll edit one it looks super spooky in here look at this so this land has a really nice medieval feel to it and they have really added some really nice halloween um 
accessories to the land that really just make the land pop. I love this spooky spooky cauldron. It's like bubbling. Super cute. So a lot of the things they are, they do have um, them kind of like repeating with like the potions and stuff like that. But then they'll add like a couple new things so that it's not like the exact same thing on um, in each area. I really like that. I love the pumpkins. Look at this. Look how he looks. Y'all, so I was really taken aback when I realized that YouTube was not... YouTube studio was not posting all of the comments that I was getting that really made me feel some type of way because I really had to do like a deep dive luckily I was on two buddy not with the clown nose luckily I was on two buddy and I noticed uh, car carnival carnival like carne meat or evil so um I was on two buddy and I had to do a deep dive just to make sure that I haven't missed out on any comments. Luckily, that was the only comment. It was only one comment that I had missed out on. And I'm like, why the hell wasn't this showing on my reg in my within my regular comments? I've never I don't normally check my two buddy comments because I'm like, YouTube is showing me the comments. So why would I need to check two buddy? But something just told me check two buddy to see what's going on like if you wanted to see i wanted to see if i could um respond to my comments through too buddy and i can so i was really really glad that i was able to do that because i went through a deep dive on youtube studio trying to see like why the video didn't show and i just could not i could not figure it out so i'm glad that i caught it when i did so that i was able to respond to the video that video um is a video that i thought i had made before i think i made a video that was similar to that but maybe not necessarily like that because there was a time where a lot of the things that I had to kind of find out on my own, I would have loved um, to have had a video. Oh, what's going on in here? Where I could have just kind of like referred to, to kind of figure out like how to do some of like the cool things um, within Second Life or like when you're recording or just being able to use Second Life in a different type of way. I do want to go down here. So I was glad that I was able to do that video. Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't know about this. But yeah, so that kind of really made me feel some type of way. Because I'm like, hold up now. Now I got to sit and check my comments on YouTube Studio and on TubeBuddy. Oh, this is pretty. Look at all the candles. Spiders, because why not? This looks like an altar. This reminds me of that altar scene on, oh, what's the, not Vampire Diaries, but it was the other one. Oh, that's a DJ booth. It was, the, I can't believe I forgot the name of it because it was like one of my favorite shows, but they had, um, like tried to sacrifice her and her baby on like an altar like that. Look at this. Big ass spiders. So this Vlogtober time has gone by super fast. Look how beautiful this is. And I know for a fact that you guys are enjoying it because y'all let me know in the comments and I sure appreciate it. Oh, now look how everything just changed from that spooky cave to this area. Look at the huge pumpkins. So this experience with Vlogtober thus far has definitely let me know what I need to do in order to have a successful um, Vlogmas. What I do hope though, if everything works out well or when everything works out well and I'm able to do Vlogmas, I hope that they kind of start doing the Winter Sims a little bit more in advance than they have for Halloween, the Halloween season. I don't know if because the Halloween season kind of meshes in with fall that they kind of didn't move as fast as they have in the past. Can you sit on this? I get a hand. It looks like you probably can sit on it. I don't know if that was the reason why things were kind of a little slow, but um, hopefully they move a little faster look for me for us when it comes to putting up the winter stuff but let me not rush it y'all see how pretty this is let me not rush it because when i tell you they drag out winter in second life baby they dragged it out i mean 
I'll be over it. I'll be completely over it. I am so, so, I want to look at them closely. I am so, so over winter um, in Second Life. Once we get to like February and it's still snow, I say, listen, I, I understand that we, we're mimicking real life, but get rid of some of this damn snow. Okay, this is different. I don't know what I was expecting in here. I think I was expecting like a smaller space, but yeah, they be dragging winter out and it's like, I, I love it for the time being, but months and months and months, uh-uh. But I think winter is the, they look spooky. Winter is like the longest season in, well, I ain't gonna say it's the longest season. It's the second longest season in Second Life because normally Second Life is like, springtime summer for the absolute most part it's like springtime summer the entire time so when winter time comes around they do kind of spend a couple months um exploring winter in second life which i'm not really mad at but i think i know that it's because i don't have a lot of winter clothes but i've been on the lookout i've been on the lookout i said y'all gonna make me buy some full price boots y'all know i love a good sale you know I love a good sale. So I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Y'all know what I realized that I didn't realize before? I watch my videos um, when I record them. Well, not when I record them. After I record them and like upload them, I do watch the videos. And I realize that the mood does set the tone it really does set my tone so sometimes i've noted well a lot of times i've noticed that i'm a little bit more relaxed um when i talk and then sometimes i'm a little bit more mellow like i think it depends on when what's up here when i actually record the video so like right now um even though i'm a little bit behind well i'm behind because the video that i'm doing right now i don't have any videos beyond this video so i know that i have to get back on recording more but it's not a it's not a big deal because i know that i can just i have places to look at so i know that, that i have content to show you guys the originals that's the name of the show it just popped in my head when i saw the wolf's vein the originals i love that show but they did have a scene where they were trying to like the lady was pregnant they were trying to like use her baby for a ritual or something like that and they put her on like an altar that where that dj booth was and so right now because it is later i do feel a little bit more mellow i kind of lost my train of thought when the originals popped in i hope this makes sense in the edit um and i'm like sometimes i'm a little mellow look how pretty this is i said sometimes i'm a little mellow sometimes i'm a little bit more hype with you guys so i'm like oh wow the mood definitely does it definitely does set my tone but i like that i love that y'all get to see different sides of me and get to hear different sides of me because sometimes my vernacular does get a little lax and that's okay that's okay i, li I like to mix it up from saying to saying i do like to do that now that's something i do like to do so i do like that um this is that's normally how i am sometimes i i talk differently based on how i feel throughout the day throughout the day not even so much whom I'm talking or who I'm talking to but more or less just like how I feel in that moment on that day this place was really cool to look around hope y'all enjoyed it I'll see y'all tomorrow